Hello, big beefy burger body here. Then another episode of the Binding of Isaac Pen's Daily Runs. It's Polyon. And we gotta go to Satan. We're just, so we're gonna beat Satan, and he's gonna get defeated. And we're gonna use our Polyon portal. And we're gonna do so many cool things with our Polyon portal. Like decide if an item's bad and delete it. Or decide that a space bar is worth absorbing and delete it. Our last, uh, our last Apollyon run went pretty good. Me getting hit by a dip there didn't go- it wasn't pretty good though. It's actually bad. You shouldn't actually be hit by dips. Uh, and we do want to go back for our item room, that's for sure. So I'm gonna let you do your- your thing, buddy. And then I missed the bomb, so we're about to be sitting here for 30 more seconds. We're on a speed run. we can't be wasting time like that. That's unfortunate that we had to have to waste time like that. Maybe I should have waited till he was like... You know, not there, but we we didn't. It's on uh, easy mode, as you can tell by the uh, tier rate uh, of the projectile speed of the enemies. I feel like bosses like this... With, when you try to bomb them, all of a sudden have like the highest movement speed to try to avoid it as it, like possible. And do I want a cube of meat? We'll decide if we want a cube of meat. Because I'm not a not a huge fan of the cube of meat, even though it's a it is a familiar, but it's not the best one. Or like an orbital, an orbital. So like, hopefully this tra this uh, champion one doesn't. Doesn't pop into uh, a headless guy and take even more attacks to defeat. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he certainly did. I mean, we could at least walk into the shop uh, for that like 15 points it's gonna give us, which I'm gonna do already. Two luck pills, or like uh, luck ups, and mapping, which we can't buy, which is unfortunate that we can't buy it actually. Let's not get hit by a greed head. So that would be that'd be a shame if we got hit by a greed head in this room. So if you can end up buying this, like that would be like huge. I'm I'm worth it's worth trying to do. Polytheme is probably one of the the items that we want. Uh, a lot of damage, lower tier rate, but piercing is also good because it's gonna help us kill multiple enemies. Well, we're gonna be just shy of getting enough. I mean, we could like shoot poops and fires and hope that we get it. Would that end up even faster? We'd still need three more. I will take it. So no absorbing items yet. I wasn't sure if I wanted a shot speed um, luck up there, so decided against it. I feel like that's usually what happens when you absorb uh, items for stats, is you get the ones you don't want. There's like four stats I'll be okay with getting, and then everything else is like, just like, no. I would rather... I'd rather just like, not get that. Because it's not gonna make a, a huge difference. But um, we do have Polythemus, which is the huge difference, as we can... Delete enemies faster. And deleting enemies fast is like good. You're gonna die. Let's get like really in there with that meat cube. I'm trying to get a little, a little, little faffy. Okay, nice. Shouldn't be doing that with you, I guess. When you can, when you can dance like that. I'm gonna absorb that. Get that speed up. I got a damage up too. Wow, that's the two stats I want the most. My my stat tier list. Damage. Speed. Actually, probably speed over damage, honestly. If you want me to be 100% honest? I will take I'll take speed over damage. Having a lack of speed like actually just makes the game unfun compared to uh like damage. Which isn't, like, the worst. Like, your starting damage is never, like, that bad, you know? 
the little chest is going to hopefully give us some good trinkets, maybe some good cards, maybe some good pills, maybe some good um, stuff. Debating absorbing it, but I'm also like, I'm not that stingy when it comes to items I'd want. See, like, some of the items I was picking up as Isaac really just like reinforced the statement that it's like, there's a lot of items in this game. I'm like, I will take that. I gladly take that. That's a speed down, which is the last thing in the world I would ever want. Um, as I just mentioned, game, that that's the least fun thing you can do is like lower the speed. I will take that because it's going to prevent us from taking like any projectile damage, most likely. So our biggest threat is enemies that can contact damage us now. And our brimstone, you know, not those aren't really projectiles. Those are lasers. Lasers are completely different. They like do damage. Okay, that's a that's a trinket. I kind of want um. PhD, because PhD would mean that we could get a, uh, a, a sweet, uh, a sweet speed up here. I will take, uh, I will take an, uh, uh, absorb if it's anything that's not, uh, good. Like if it's, like, belly button right here, I'm like, yeah, I'd rather have, like, a range and a speed up right here. Yeah, absorb it that out of here. Holy Grail, good item. Don't have to actually fight the angel. So now we have flight, which means we can actually go back and grab this card. I'll do that real quick, because it might be a good one. And it was a decent card. It gives it that range and that, that stat that's in the game. And we can go in here with, like, really small risk to us. It's a luck up. Feels like I'm walking on sunshine, get out for free. Here, there you go. That's why you take pills. <laughs> Disregard the um, second worst one you could get. Speaking of the worst one you can get, um, I think a speed down pill is worse than a tears down. Because um, uh, it could be unrecoverable. Like, the tier, the tier rate being lowered, that's bad, obviously. Um... But, like, you can recover. But you could also just, like... It'll take longer to kill enemies, but... It, uh, you can you can, you can can just be good at the game and, like... Win. Book of... Book of... Book of... I am going to tap it. And then I will, um... Absorb it when I have the chance. Damn, these guys really just have like 50 health, I guess. But I appreciate it if they didn't have 50 health. Don't think that was the best room to use uh, the, that card, but I was gonna use it because it was a large room. Better, uh, better to uh, use it than lose it, they say. Uh, and I'm, uh, I, I'm infamous for like, I mean, to myself, you know, who else cares? But I'm definitely somebody guilty of, um, just, like, hoarding consumables and not using them. I will have a, a chest in, like, Terraria full of all the buffing potions and then never use any of them. I'll be like, well, I gotta carry them for the one case I need them. And then I'm on Moon Lord already and the game's done. <laughs> and I had never even drank an Iron Skin potion. Like, uh, that's kind of crazy. So you should just use them. If you're gonna find them useful, just use them. If you're gonna find this useful, just use it. If you're gonna use this pill, just use it. Health up. That's actually a good pill. It's not a speed down. It doesn't make me go slower. I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna need to build the muscle memory to not just immediately pick up my consumables. Um, with the item I just picked up. Because I do that a lot. Where I'm like, oh, dude, look at all these consumables. And you, got, you gotta pick them. I wish they spawned a little bit farther away from each other, though. Uh, because even more options is not the worst thing. I'm like, another speed down is probably not what we want. On the off chance, we can, uh, get... Like... 
Luckfoot or um, PhD, like, or even um, what's the Angel Deal item that does that? Like, or, or is it a Zodiac item that does it? You know, the one that uh, makes them neutral, um, as well. Cause there's a there is one of those that does that. Um, I think it's the one that I know. The description is you are refreshed, or you feel refreshed. I don't remember what the item is. Thanks for hitting me, by the way. Deer in the headlights. Could definitely use some stats. Our damage, obviously, good. Um. But yeah, I'm definitely feeling the tier rate. We're gonna do this. Okay, we got our speed back, and I'll take the chariot because it make it'll make me move faster. Uh, that is the stat I'll take, um, over any for sure. I'm I'm just gonna do it. I don't feel like sitting in this room for this long. I'm gonna go in here. Get two coins. That's what we're looking for here. Very nice. Open the chest. Get this. I was gonna go back and grab that heart, but that'd be slow. And we don't need hearts, so we're not even good. And you're not even uh, alive anymore, because you're a defeated enemy in the bad game. Is it a bomb? Delete it. Delete these Ocarina of Time enemies from the game. Just wasting my Orcarina of time, is <laughs> all they're doing. Get it? I was about to be worried if that didn't kill that enemy in, in that amount of time. Really just getting a lot of, like, rooms that are going to take forever. Should have just done this to start, like, honestly. Get that out of here. Um... Again, muscle memory. Just... Well, that's good. Push pin? Uh, we don't think I... I don't want... I don't want push pin. Push pin is like... Yeah, I've stuck one in my thumb before by mistake. You know, we can't really... Can't really quantify whether or not I should, uh pick that item instead of uh, the funny worm that makes the tier bigger. I like the worm items. They're, they're funny. With the exception of the one that is so bad that you can't even hit things on screen because they go off screen and just don't do anything. That one's the worst one in the game. That's probably the worst trinket in the entire game. Because it just makes your attacks bad. But it's uh, good with homing though. It's good with homing though. It's probably good with homing though. Okay, thankfully that thing is dead. I will take blood rights. In fact, I will take blood rights. Over the 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 thing. And I will take this gladly. And I will take this gladly. Um, you might think I'm crazy for getting rid of a void. For blood rights. Uh, and we might not need... Like, it might not end up coming into play here. Uh, but I will defend blood rights um, as a good item. Because it does the thing that is underutilized in a lot of runs, is the use of your HP as a currency. In more ways than just being a devil deal. Um, because there are going to be a lot... It won't be used too often, but you're definitely going to see me in a large room where I'm like, I would rather just hit the spacebar and lose something I can gain back very easily to uh, sitting there and doing it. Or like fighting the enemy for like the whole run, <laughs> so I have to I have to keep my promise because I will 100% say I will find a lot of use for having the space bar. That's a damage up and a speed up, so we're definitely happy. So we're getting the stats that we want. Like this big room right here? No, I don't even want to do it. But we still have to do it because one of them was a champion. Which is a fine trade-off. I will take that. And we'll go in here and I'll blow this up. And I might do this to go a little bit crazy. 
Thank you for letting me go a little bit crazy. Another speed up. I thought it was a tears up. But, you know, we're fine. We got the, uh, the, we got a lot of speed right now. Hangman is not going to be very useful with our flight. Um, that's a decent trinket. And then I don't take it. There you go, there's a half heart. Um. And we have emergency contact if we need it. I didn't actually want to pick up that penny. I'm just trying to go fast. We do want to take that, uh, and this too, actually. For, um. Continuum is not too bad. Uh, and we'll go into the shop, see what's in it. Uh, broken modem. I'll take it. It's probably going to be the best use of our coins. Or not too bad of an item at this point. Um, unlock it. Yeah, that's what we want. We want some tears ups. That's going to be substantial. Especially for one of the ones that are like that good. I think it default has like a better, um, tear effect. Tears down, um, <laughs> I will say again, any of the items that make pills better, uh, definitely would have been really good this run, just for the fact that we have the tears. The tears down, uh, and the speed down. Uh, but we have so much speed at this point, like, speed down's not that bad. And now we know that we at least have a tears down, so we don't have to pick it again. Which is nice. Um, and this is definitely one of those fights where I would say... Um, not gonna be using Blood Rites. I might, honestly, if all the uh, the nubs come out like that. Um, it doesn't do that much damage to bosses. It's not great for bosses. It's a lot better for big rooms. Or rooms that just generally have a bunch of enemies in them to begin with. Um, it's unfortunate that we can't really grab that. That's not the best item. Hemolacria is so good that I'm willing to take it. Even with the tears down it's going to give me. I'm willing to do boss rush for this. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of a slower run then. That is the most insane clutch moon card drop I have ever seen. <laughs> like, I'm going the wrong way. Um, yeah, thank you, little chest. The amount of value you put in this run by yourself just doing that is... It is absolutely insane. I know I could go back and grab that card, but I don't think I'm going to end up finding a use for it. Um... Yeah, fuck that room. See, that's why I like this item. It would just be much faster to just kill them. <laughs> um, but we do have a lower tier 8, but... But, you know, I like Hemolacria as well. Because they made it, like, actually good. And it with this damage is gonna be... It's gonna be nuts if we can just keep this damage stat up for the remainder of this run. And if you could guys could just like stop wasting my time here, thank you. I think that was a bad pill. Actually no, I think that was our HP up. Um, so let me debate whether or not I even want another health point. It's like Oh well, I guess I can't make that decision now. That's a bad trinket. That's a bad enemy. There you go, you're gone. That's a health. Broken modem letting me, like, not get killed by that guy. Uh. Oh, and you still get that extra one. Okay, broken modems, uh... I forgot it has that ability to duplicate items, which is... Definitely why it's in the shop pool. Shops are really good for getting a lot of consumables. As a lot of items do that. I'm like, I want these hands to drop. Thank you. I was, I was hoping Hemolacria would help me kill both. And it, and it did. 
so far one room on this floor. I am going to keep track. <laughs> one room on this floor where I ended up using Hemolacria. Not Hemolacria, uh, the item. Blood Rites. Which would have been uh, probably still more than um, me using the other one that I had to tears up as well. That's also very good to get more tears. As we're going to be sleep. Okay, so they were both champions and it was bosses in the room. So not exactly, again, not great for bosses. Uh, but imagine if this was that room full of like the, the floaty like guys. The floaty like maggot things, or um, that one with a bunch of red spiders. Like that's a good room to use it in. I just like having that option. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that health. Nice room variety, Edmund. <laughs> Please, thank you. Um, rubs. Unfortunately, we gotta wait for you to attack again. There you go. Get that key. A lot of chests. Shot speed up. Shot speed. Tears up. There you go. So we have a tears up pill in our pool as well. Very generous of the game to give us both. As we can uh, recuperate from the, the lack of it. Door stop is going to be much better for the speedrun, actually. You go for the score. <laughs> I don't go for score. Often. Don't want to do it. See, there you go. That's why it's a good item. Okay, we missed. Okay, you hit me and I hit you. Eyeball gone. You almost you almost hit me with that one. It was very close to hitting me. In fact, it hit one of my uh, my orbitals. I would rather uh, die than fight two mega fatties. So we're just gonna leave. There you go. <laughs> What's up? There you go. We're already pretty good on that damage. And then we have one more floor to deal. Uh, I can't think of the best rooms hum uh, Blood Rites will be for uh, the Shoal 4. Are there really that many <laughs> Shoal rooms that aren't just full of bosses in the large rooms? Because I'm pretty sure most of them are. Okay, nice. Maybe if we get a room, if we get like the 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 worst enemy in the entire game, those uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The kill me before I shoot you guys. Um, we we definitely are going to just hit the space bar. That's just four Stevens. Uh, I just one shot him. <laughs> uh, that's a bounce. You can take that bomb. Probably didn't even need to use the bomb, but I wanted to use it to, for style points. Okay, we do a lot of damage. And I know we have like 40 damage right now, so like, yeah, obviously. Obviously we do a lot of damage. Um, so like... Uh, just state the obvious, dummy. <laughs> but we're gonna be- we're gonna be Satan here. Um... He's getting deleted. I've got this the, the Omega damage. Omega Among Us damage. I just realized that that's our damage stat. Um, at that. At 40. Um, that's not even like the stew that we picked up doing that. Which is actually crazy. <laughs> I thought we had stew. It's the stew buff still. <laughs> that was a good run. Probably pretty slow. Yeah. Dilly dallied a little bit early game, but you know, I I uh, I took the speed down. That's what really did it. You know, if you enjoy this episode, you like. Uh, I'm gonna hit the gritty. <laughs>